Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Jeremy Cash, live and direct with another valuable video for you. Uh, this was a subscriber's request on how to make your own, you know, merchandise, uh, t-shirts, and sell them online. I made a video about this before, uh, but just for the new subscribers, I'll, I'll go ahead and make another one. And this actually is a website that I haven't talked about, so I'll go right into it. Uh, this website, Printful, you of course you can create, as you can see. Uh, your own stuff and you can sell it online for free uh, and so I'll show you exactly you know how to do that but once you go here you'll click start selling it should have you make an account uh, and then you'll click that and then you can start you know selling merchandise right and the best thing about this is uh, it's free like literally you can uh, create your own shirts sweaters backpacks cups uh, cell phone cases and all that kind of stuff and it's absolutely free okay so once you you know get on this page you go straight down here to your left hand side and go to mock up generator it'll be right here and this is how you'll be able to create you know your uh, your shirts or your cell phone cases or whatever it is uh, that you want to do right and if you have kids they do have backpacks they also have uh, onesies for babies and all that kind of stuff so you can literally create your own store uh, like you see they got beanie hats snapbacks and then just a couple of other different hats um, if we scroll down some more they got accessories like backpacks cell phone cases socks home living like pillows and canvases and stuff that you can put on the wall and all that kind of stuff so they got a lot of stuff to choose from uh, so let's see I'm gonna go ahead and choose men's clothing okay and then from there, uh, they have joggers and sweatpants and all that stuff, man. So, like, literally, you can create some really dope stuff on here. You just got to know what to do. So, let me give you guys a couple of, you know, secrets and tips on how to start killing it right out the gate. Uh, one of the best things you can do is to uh, make shirts around, like, zodiac signs. Like, for instance, I'm a Libra. Uh... You know, if you make a shirt about a Libra or Taurus or Aquarius or however that, usually those shirts sell a lot. Uh, and then also uh, catching the trends, like, for instance, like a couple years ago, we know that uh, that ain't nobody got time for that uh, was a, a saying back in the day that, you know, was real popular because of a video. So whenever things go viral, uh, you can make a shirt around that uh, a certain saying or whatever it is, and people will eat it up. They'll buy it all day. Uh, and so, yeah, let me go to, uh, I'll go to hoodies and sweatshirts, even though it's hot right now, but I'll go to hoodies and sweatshirts cause I like how they look. All right. So for instance, you can, you know, come through here, click on whatever shirt it is that you want. Okay. And I'm just going to click on this white one cause we can change the colors of it. And you can also upload your own designs. If you're good at Photoshop, definitely Photoshop your logo or design or something. Uh, and if not, then you can, you know, create your own on here. Or you can just go look up different templates online and, and drag them and drop them onto the shirt. And so that's super duper simple and it won't take you long to do it all. So as this loads up, I'll go ahead and show you exactly uh, what's to be done. All right, so they got the front shirt, the front of the shirt, the back of the shirt, the left sleeve, the right sleeve, and the outside label. And so I think I want the shirt to be red, the sweatshirt. Let's say red. So you'll you'll click down here on the colors. Now you got a choice whether you want your uh, the printing, like the letters on the shirt, to be printed or embroidery. Embroidery is like the uh, stitching. Okay, so if that's what you want, then, you know, you pick that. But for now, I'm just going to leave it how it is, right? So I see that. Now, when you go here, click on design. And this is how you can start designing your stuff. So you can upload a file, you can add your own text, or you can add a clip art, right? I, I did one before, before this video, and I added my own text, okay? But let me go back and change this back to red because we can make sure it's red. But yeah, you can add your own text to it, and I'll show you right here. So if you, you know, you don't know how to design stuff, and you kind of got, you know, a design in your head, you can just click on that, and then you'll type whatever it is you want in the box, 
and it'll just appear on the shirt and then you can see how that looks and if you like it or not uh, and then also you can change of course the font of it and they'll give you a list of different fonts and how they look so you'll be able to you know change it blase blase and then you can change the color of the font right here and that's pretty much all you would need to do right so I'm just gonna go back okay I'm gonna delete that because I just I'm just gonna upload the design uh, that I made so that way you guys can see how it looks once you know you get you some uploaded so these are a couple of shirts and stuff that I was working on this right here is for one of our film businesses uh, and then I'm looking for my wealthy empire shirt right here should be this one so this is my brand right here uh, the wealthy empire and this is the logo I actually made inside of this uh, platform using the text I just made one text later on the top uh, made this wealthy one and the font on this one is uh, let me see if it lets me edit it's like Pacifico so when you click on here you'll find Pacifico and that's the name of the font and then you can make this as big as you want but you just can't go outside the lines right and I think that looks good and if you want to see it without the grid that's what it looks like so that's you know my uh, clothing brand the wealthy empire and then um, yeah from there if you wanted to add you know some clip art to it you can add you know you can click on shapes and symbols if you want that's how I got this symbol right here and I'll show you uh, exactly where it came from it came from right here so you can just let's say I wanted to add this one you just click it and then it'll appear on the shirt and you just drag it to where you want it to go right so once this loads up I'll let you guys see that so as you can see it's like right here and so you could just you know rescale it if I wanted to move that I wouldn't move it on top of there but just give you an example of what you can do you can make it as big as you want if you wanted it or small and then just move it to the place that you want or whatever uh, I'm not gonna add that because that looks crazy so if it lets me delete it I'll delete that right there yeah okay so the next thing you can do is you know go up here and turn to the back and you can you know do the same thing so like for the top my initials I could do you know JC or J Hen, J J H or whatever I want to do for right now I'll do JC uh for Jeremy Cash and then I can change it to white and then if I just want that right here I can do that or if I want to do something like this let me show you guys go back here and then I can add a clip art if I wanted to add shape and then just something cool for the back let's see I was looking for a triangle there we go so if I wanted to just use something like this ah, uh, well I don't want to use this one this is going to be like C3 it might work I might just use that for that one but I, I wanted to use a solid color so we'll see how this turns out that's not bad so if I wanted to I could just move this to the top which I need to move this JC down some and then I could move this down a little bit make it smaller but I want to change that to white it's an outline I was gonna have actually have this shaded in but you know it's all good so I mean that's that's just giving you guys an example how simple it is to make something really cool you know uh, that you could sell to people now if you don't want people to have if you don't want your name on it you just want people to buy it so that's what it will look like on the back or I could just put this inside of here which makes sense <laughs> there we go it's kind of off but let me see if I wanted to whatever I'll leave it like that so that's that's pretty cool yeah so front you know when they look at the front they'll see the wealthy empire you know and then on the back it'll have the JC for Jeremy Cash and then uh, they got the right sleeve and the left sleeve and so you can make some really cool stuff if you wanted to you can make some words going straight down the sleeve uh, and then the outside label where is that oh I think it shows you here 
Oh, that's like right there at the back. So that's pretty much where I already put it at. Okay. So yeah, I mean, like I said, you could do some dope stuff on here. And then right after that, uh, like I said, if you had your own uh, thing that you created, your own font or whatever it is that you created in Photoshop, uh, you can just upload that straight here or a logo design. Now, if you don't know how to make logos or anything like that, you know, you got Fiverr.com, you got Upwork.com. Uh, that you can do, uh, you know, to make some really good, you know, stuff. And then you can go ahead and just pull that design straight on onto your shirt. And then all you would have to do is just generate files and then you can sell it. You know, they'll give you a link to sell the shirt. Okay. And so if you wanted to, you could put, you know, some more words here or however you want to do it. But uh, another quick thing, guys, if you go to Google and you type in uh, shirt design templates, now, this is for people who are a little more advanced, who may know a little Photoshop or a GIMP or whatever it is that you're using. Uh, they'll give you, you know, a template. And then you can go ahead and, like, color the sleeves. Like, if you wanted your sleeves a certain color, uh, separate from this part of the shirt. And if you wanted, like, stripes, you know, going down here uh, and different things like that. To give you an example, kind of like this uh, Fendi shirt that's 800 freaking dollars that I would never spend that kind of money on a shirt. But... Just for example, like how you see how they uh, have the blue sleeves and then the different colors. Like if you wanted to do all that kind of stuff, you would have to like create that yourself in Photoshop and then upload the entire design uh, and then, you know, print the shirts and things like that. So like their back is they don't really have anything on the back of the shirt. But just using this for an example. But the fact that that's eight hundred and fifty dollars and people buy that, it's just it's crazy. But yeah, so. This is, you know, the Fendi brand. And if they're selling, you know, it's really pretty much how you present your brand uh, that's going to determine, you know, the kind of money you can make. So as you can see, they're selling freaking $850 shirts and, you know, rappers and all kind of other people are wearing them. And it's pretty basic. It's not really nothing. It's just super spectacular. But, you know, people love it and they buy it. So it really depends on your brand and how you want to do it. Now, if you do... um let me see if I can if I can go to Facebook right quick and type in like a Libra shirt or something. Because I saw some before. But uh let me see. If I can find oh man, it's gonna put my name right here. Let me delete all that first. Libra shirts. Dang, I can't spell, bro. Wait a minute. <laughs> put it all together. So let me see. I'll click this and see if I can give you guys an example of uh, like the Zodiac shirts that make a lot of money and sell. Because I just saw some the other day, but I think I lost it somewhere. So we'll see. Yeah, so for instance, like this. I kind of like this one because it's a scale. but Or like that one. You know, that's too many font, too many uh, letters on there though. Usually I tell people to make it pretty as basic as you can. Uh, to where it's not too cluttered, but you can, if it is cluttered, make it look good. Some people's stuff is just trash. Yeah, so for instance, all women are created equal, but only the best ones was born as a Libra. As you can see, 268 comments, 2,000 likes, uh, and then they have their link right here to where you can buy it. So this is smart advertising, Libra Nation. One thing I was going to tell you guys, this was in 2015 too. Wow. Okay. So, but one thing I was going to tell you guys that will actually help you kill it is if you make a fan page on Facebook around uh, just a certain thing. So, for instance, if you said, you know, um, dope shirts or whatever, and then you, uh, that's all you do is post, you know, shirts uh, like this, things like this, or uh, things that's catchy, that catches people's attention. Uh, people love that kind of stuff. They love it and they eat it up all day. And it's tons and tons of different zodiac signs in the world, and people are like super into it. Uh, they got the Libra Gemini shirt, and so things like that. People are flock to it all day. Uh, things like uh, football, uh, like the whole Damian Dillard thing when he made that little meme face uh, with uh, when they beat the Thunder. I mean, just all kind of different stuff that you could have used uh, to run an ad to a shirt uh, or just post a shirt in a group i'm gonna give you guys some free game let me give you guys some free game right quick because this i haven't even done this yet and i thought about it when i 
my wife added me to this marriage group and literally everything in here goes viral like it's just nuts pretty much everything in here gets a lot of love and this group i think has around 600,000 members in it so i want to show you guys uh some things and if you create you a marriage shirt in here oh my god i think i'm gonna do it and do a case study on it because man when i've seen the the stuff in here that uh people are doing is just crazy so peep this six hundred thousand members as you can see right here okay six hundred thousand members and let me show you just you know the kind of stuff that go okay just in honor of Mother's Day, let me see your babies. Boom, one point k, one point five k comments on this thing. Like, this is not even close to the 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 kind of viral that I'm talking about. Though I'm talking about like, just imagine you made a marriage shirt or a mom shirt in here. Like, oh my God, I think I'm gonna test that out for Mother's Day because Mother's Day is coming up. So just a little hint for you guys if you want to go ahead and add yourself to this group now. Uh, a lot of married folk up in here, you know. But, uh, see, just regular stuff, like, 600 comments on this, like, it's just, but this is nothing, though, compared, I'm trying to see if I can find a good one, because I've seen a couple of them in here that was, like, freaking ridiculous, like, 37,000 comments, 27,000, and just on regular people's pictures and all that, their anniversary and all that kind of stuff, it's just a lot of uh, married, married people supporting other married people, which is really cool, so, uh, yeah, this is the group you might want to check out. This thing is kind of freezing on me. So, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Like, like for instance, this post right here. It's blurred out, but uh, it's not actually blurred out. I don't know why it's doing it on here. But it just says when your wife is mad at you, but she's hungry. And I think it's a, a video of him uh, cooking something for his wife or something or his daughter. Uh, and it got, like, freaking... Let's see if I can get back to it. I don't know where it went. But yeah, you guys get the point, right? So it's a group. You can come in here and, and promote your shirts or whatever. Make some really think about some good things, some marriage quotes or whatever. Look up marriage quotes on YouTube, I mean uh, Google, and just make a good shirt and post it in here and see who buys it. You know what I mean? Because people will buy it. But yeah, that's pretty much what you need to do. But like I was telling you guys, if you uh make you a shirt and then run an ad to it on Facebook, You'll see a lot of a lot of good results. Uh, or if you just post it on your wall, you don't even have to let people know it's your your shirt. You know, you could just post it or just buy one and wear it. Most people, most of the time, people like the shirt. They're gonna ask where you get it from, especially if it's a really cool saying or something like that. They're gonna ask where you got it from. You just send them the link and you'll be making money. So yeah, hopefully this video helps you guys. Uh, so much you can do. Like I said, they got hats, backpacks, uh, all that stuff. So yeah, play around with the site. Uh, and make some really good money. It's actually people out here that's making, you know, three, four hundred thousand dollars. Uh, just to give you an example, just to give you an example of people that's killing it. And the guy right here, uh, Derek Struggle, you know, he made around a hundred thousand plus dollars selling, you know, t-shirts. Uh, and then you got another guy down here, eighty-five thousand a month selling t-shirts. Uh, just tons of people. Uh, I know a guy by the name of Chris Record. Did over a million dollars, bingo, right here. Chris Record, the million dollar print on demand case study, made a million dollars selling t-shirts. <laughs> Literally. So you guys might want to check this one out. Uh, people are killing the t-shirt game, man, and it's simple. It's very, very simple. Uh, it's something you can do for free, pretty much. Uh, you just pretty much make the design, you put it out there, and, uh, you know, see what works, see what doesn't work, and just keep doing it, and eventually, you know, like I said, guys, when the Super Bowl happens, uh, we know the NBA Finals or playoffs is right now, so that'll give you some good ideas for shirts. Uh, just when sayings go around, like memes and stuff, it's something that's funny uh, that people are going to remember, put that on the shirt, just things like that, you'll make some really good money with it. Uh, and, yeah, so hopefully that helped. If you like this video, hit the like button. I will be making some more videos uh, in the coming days, probably tomorrow. Uh, but, yeah, other than that, I'm out. Peace.